Another complementary process capability that I'm excited to discuss with all of you today is um, AFP or um, automatic fly replacement. So in combination, this was done out of our, our Switzerland facility. We have a, an R&D facility over there. Um, so in combination with a, a local university, HEIG, VD, as well as a Swiss program, um, InnoSwiss, um, they developed both the hardware and the software to create unidirectional reinforcements for the compression molding of the DLF parts. So um, you can see the, an image of this robotic head. It has the capability to lay um, unidirectional tape, so the, the same tape that we're using, like an AS4 peak-based tape, unidirectional tape. They have the ability to do complex geometry preforms that would either go inside the tool or we can actually lay it on the exterior of the part. Um, so what we did is we started off, you know, optimizing the process. We want to understand, you know, they, they built the laser from scratch too, so they want to understand, you know, the, the optimal laser, the feeds, the times, um, the best way to apply that material onto the exterior of our already molded plate, if you will. Um, so we started off with coupons, simple demonstrator elements, and then we moved to three parts. Um, <clears throat> What you see here too, and I know there's there's a lot of numbers here. It's it's kind of tough to read, um, but the the message of this slide really is that we are able to take a plate, a discontinuous long fiber plate, apply this unidirectional tape onto it, and then we're able to achieve 75 percent of that baseline of the U tape, so 67 MPA, which is phenomenal. Um, the project uh, charter, the you know the intention was to achieve 50 percent of the uh, strength, so we're actually exceeding that. And then um, from a financial perspective, a cost perspective. We wanted to um, no longer, we didn't want to increase the price by 50% either. So uh, we've succeeded in surpassing that as well. I've got a few more details on the next slide about that. Um, discussing some of the, uh, the activity associated with parts themselves. So um, we chose three different demonstrator parts. Um, in addition to some of the coupons, you can see a bearing response up there in the top right hand side. Um, but what we saw is um, we're going to be it's not the right solution for every part, right? So it's going to be geometrically dependent. But if we take the part on the right-hand side now, the bearing loading direction, we've got a um, an insert right now for unidirectional tape as well. It goes on the outside surface of that component. We were able to increase the strength of that bearing pullout by 61%. So just pure DLF, it starts off with 17.5 kilonewtons. So all failure increased to 28.3 kilonewtons with only a volume fraction of 2.5 percent unidirectional tape. So again, this exceeds the targets initially set forth by the, the charter. Um, and there's honestly zero weight penalty too. We're using the same material. It's replacing it volumetrically. Um, but like I was saying, not all DLF parts can be efficiently reinforced. We did have some parts that did not quite meet that, but that was part of the learnings, understanding how to apply it, where to apply it. Um, we want to make sure that we're able to, to fully understand that. So this is something um, that actually is going to be presented in an upcoming conference uh, by my colleagues, Nick Weibel um, at iTech. It's a, a conference in, um, in Europe coming up, I think, in two weeks or so. And I've linked the, his presentation, his paper, um, as a resource for this presentation. So if you're interested in learning more, please reach out or um, go listen to his presentation in the coming weeks.